Hello butterfly. How you doing beautiful? Hello. Such a good energy today. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? <sighs> welcome, welcome. Very calm, very peaceful, very expansive, very like <sighs> expansive. Good morning. Thank you for tapping the screen a little bit for me, if you don't mind. Yes, this energy, it's just so beautiful. And I came around to speak a little bit about the My Masculine and the Fine Feminine energy balancing. Because <laughs> um, I've seen that some of you were like commenting on my videos. And this is our mission, is to balance our masculine and our feminine side of us. This is the mission of all. Balancing those energy out. But we have the energy of the full moon, we have the energy of the Schumann frequencies that are being like bombarded at us. Um, plus um, this anchoring of the new reality like you can feel it at least people who are sensitive can feel this shift like almost nothing is it's not really normal um it's a new paradigm that's why people speak about new earth like this new earth is because it's a new way of thinking a new way of being a new way of feeling um Yeah, I don't have no idea why they keep covering the sun, I swear to God, even today I woke up, there are uh, chemical trails in the sky. Well, I know why, really. <laughs> the why is because the sun is what activates us, my people. The sun is what upgrades us. Uh, the sun is... It's so powerful lately. Uh, in, in fact, if you've seen the solar flare, um, let me show you. Can you keep tapping the screen for me, people, so I can open the algorithm a little bit? I would appreciate that. Let me show you. Oh my God, we're going to be bombarded today, too. Jesus. Like, I swear to God. So, this is what we are going to encounter by the end of today. So, this evening. Look at the peaks. In those... F Ooh, I don't know if you can see that. One sec. So, can you see those peaks here? Here, those peaks are the one in which the solar flare will be the most highest, okay? So, when we hit those kind of um, I tap with a lot to write. Yeah, of course you can write. <laughs> when we're going to receive those strong heat of solar flare, our DNA get activated. We get activated, like those sort of frail help us to transmute. So old shit that you've been carrying, old baggages that you've been carrying, old story that you've been carrying, uh, old pff, repetitive cycle, repetitive bullshit that you've been carrying, the sun is basically blasting it out of you. And so that's why they are hiding the sun. They are hiding the sun with fake clouds. And it's not happening only in UK. It's happening every fucking where. Because they don't want this to happen. But the, the, the problem is that they can play all those shitty games. Uh, but they are too powerful. They are too powerful. The sun is to it go through any fake clouds that they are creating. 
those radiation go through walls and go through they destroy electric like that's why there has been a lot of malfunctioning on internet on computer on phones because these solar flares are extremely powerful extremely powerful so they are trying with this little ass plane to create uh, fake uh, clouds and stuff, but it's not going to happen anyway. Go out as much as you can. Uh, even if it's cloudy, go out because the sun is going through that anyway. And your old DNA, your literally your old um, energetic body is getting upgraded big time so you need to go out there close your eyes and just pretend that you are a sponge in your imagination and pretend that you are absorbing these things and you will feel it we are transmuting things that no longer serve us fears old story old baggages stuff that because we cannot move into new earth with those baggages we cannot move in there with those baggages. So we are being forced to purge out, purge shit out of yourself. Um, I made a few videos. Ask yourself, what is stopping you from being playing f playful? Whatever is stopping you from being playful has to go. So ask yourself, what is stopping me from being playful? What is stopping me from radiating my light? That thing has to go. So it, you know. And don't start to tell me responsibility and stuff like that because of stress, because I made multiple people in my YouTube. I've got guided meditations. I do private coaching if you need it. But um, stressing is, is, an, is an illusion. Is you expecting too much from yourself? Is you having a CD that plays over and over and over the same worries? Um, it's not real, essentially. Stress is an illusion. It doesn't exist. Because if something is here in the future and you are here, it's not that by thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking about these future things is going to change. Like, these things remain here, is in the future. You don't need to think about it until five minutes before. <laughs> um, we are being asked to purge old shit out. So, that is our mission in order to be able to anchor to this new reality and you know go out there in nature uh taking all taking all in as much as you can it's very good yeah Louisa you see um <laughs> That is one of the most ridiculous things is like we love to make our life complicated and we are the one to make our, that make our life shit. So we blame things and situation in reality is just you are not able to control your own mind. You, that's why you simply are not able to control your mind. So your mind is like a monkey mind. It just speaks, 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 repeats stuff like in a loop. It's like you have an entity on its own in your head. It's not yours. It's not you. It's, it's a thing. <laughs> it's a monster. And we can't complain about something that we create. Stress is an illusion. Stress doesn't exist. You understand? So, to anchor in this new earth, to ascend and transcend into this reality, we need to remove old baggages. And everything that drags you down, why are you carrying it with you? Why is like you are carrying worry, unnecessary words? Like, whatever is stopping you, is it's stopping 
you to be playful needs to go. So ask yourself, what is stopping me from being playful? What is it? What is stopping me from being here in the now? What is stopping me from having an expansive energy? What is stopping me from shining my life, my light? And whatever come up, you need to write it down and understand that that is an illusion and that can go. So if I have to ask you right now, what is stopping you from being playful? What is stopping you from feeling uh, this expansion? What would you say it is? So question for you, butterflies. What is it? What ends it? Is it worry? Is it frustration? Is it... What is it? I'm just soaking it all in today. Your head, <laughs> right? That is a thing. Is your actual head. <laughs> so why don't you move away from your head? Your head does not, does not contain the solution. Isn't it funny? It's like you are looking for something in here. You cannot find it. It's not here. So why don't you move somewhere else in your body? Why don't you move in your heart? Or why don't you move in your belly? Why don't you do something to make your belly feel better or your heart feel better? Because the solution is not in here. Isn't it funny? It's like, why are you looking for the solution in the wrong places? Yeah, I know. And that is the practice. That is what spirit wants us to do. It's to practice that over and over and over until you lose your mind. Your mind is there to be lost. To be lost. And I know people come back at me in all the way. Actually, thinking is totally useless if you don't know how to control it. If, if thinking controls you, if thinking, if thinking controls you, then you are not understanding how thinking works. You use this when you need it. So the brain is like a little, um, like a little computer that you have and you use it to problem solve. And my ears are ringing like big time. So many of you have this issue. So the brain needs to be used only to problem solve. That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Nothing else. So when you are living your day-to-day -day life and you are washing your plates and you are cleaning your room, you don't have to problem solve. The only thing you have to do is to embody. So when you wash the plate, you wash the plate without thinking. When you get dressed, you dress yourself without thinking. You just put trousers on and you observe how beautiful your body is and you put music on. And when you wash your plates, you hear the water sounds uh, of the water you don't think and that is how you move away from your brain the brain is useful only uh, use 
full only when you have to problem solve for nothing else. And when you are able to unlock it, you know why? Because the brain is taking you away from what is. The energy, when you don't think, it's so beautiful. The energy of the present moment without thought is just... It's just amazing. It's like... I don't know how, even how to explain it. But anyway, the energy without your head coming in the middle is amazing. <laughs> it's peaceful, it's creative, it's um, inspirational because you, when your brain does not function and you just observe, you become like an antenna. An antenna receives things. But if you think, you are emitting thing. When you think, you are emitting thought. So you are busy creating. And you're, instead, you need to be busy receiving. So, even when you don't think, your body will tell you... Um, <laughs> what you need, if you need a walk, if you need an, a nap, if you need to paint, if you need to write, if you need to dance. Um, your, 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 your body will tell you actually what, what, what you really need. But again, when you are too busy thinking, that cannot come through because you are, because you are too busy thinking. Um... But this, this uh, shifting that, that we are happening, that is happening, I never felt anything more powerful than this. Like I, um, it's like before I used to go through like ups and downs, okay? And Remember that the down are needed to understand the high, okay? Because you will not able to fully appreciate the high if you never experience the low, low, low. So the high and lows are needed, okay? But when you start to exercise those demons, <laughs> how I like to call them, when you start to exercise the overthinking, when you start to exercise the people pleaser, when you start to exercise um, um, the um, like the things that kills your aura, so the activities. Or, or the circumstances that literally kill your aura. <laughs> um, oh, thank you. Um, you will start to stabilize, stabilize yourself. So, for most part of my life, I thought that like I was just meant to keep going up and down, up and down. Instead, I realized how many things was creating my lows. But I would not admit it to myself, cause, cause it's our ego, isn't it? It's fucking stubborn. Like our ego is, like I would go out with a person and feel that after I went out with them, I feel bad, and I'm like, no, but they're fine. Come on. Oh, hello, Chris. So I would like, oh, like they're fine, and <laughs> my ego would try to brush away, you know, like. And instead, when I, when we truly become aware of all the things that kills our life, and it's sometimes our own way of thinking, it's our own over worry. Sometimes our people, a lot of people, situation, places, activities. Like I swear to God, there were so many things that literally were sucking my vitality out. Oh, 
Oh, really? I am close to Stonehenge. I would love to go on for a camping trip. <laughs> I used to be a scout. Giovane Marmotta. I used to be a scout, so I'm really good at camping. <laughs> I built anything you want. I'm able to build even a shower if you want me to. Oh, you want to see what I designed by myself? Look how cute is this. I did a job for a shop. Look how cute is this. I am really artistic, I have to say. So, <laughs> it's a shop that does uh, intimate men and female waxing, LGBTQ. So, I did the leaf links. Isn't it funny? The people were really happy. And then a tiny menu on the back. <laughs> anyway, this is, this is another thing that I do for my creativity. You see, my inner child loves the shit. Sometimes when I look at it, I'm like, for real? But my inner child just loves it. And I have to, you know, I have to satisfy my inner child. Otherwise, go mental. I have to paint. I have to color. When, I, when I'm not in that energy, I'm like, what the fuck? And then when I am in that energy, I go back to childhood. <laughs> I go back to childhood. Like, I spent so much time. <laughs> I spent so much time doing this little leaf legs. I don't even have it. And look what else I did for them. I did another one. And even this one, I was like, like a baby. And should I do a pink? Should I do a blue? Shall I put this over here? Shall I put this over there like a baby? But that's what I'm saying. We have to we have to literally feed our inner child. So this is the stuff I do to feed my inner child. Oh, good morning, my love. I'm so bubbly today. I might over speak, so <laughs> sorry. But uh, yeah, the inner child. Love to play with this shit. That's why I'm saying even you, if you find any app, I recommend you Canva. Uh, I did even a picture of... Look at this. Holy pussy creator of all. This I made the other day. So this is a pussy with wings. And I put it on my Instagram. Make sure you check my Instagram. And then I did this uh, advertisement for this shop. And so I created there another little flyer for them. They will print it soon, but they haven't printed it yet. And look at that. Wait, it has to load. This is the other flyer that I did. I don't know if you can see it. So I did the female for the hairdresser and then, oh, no, 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 don't ruin my creation, please. And then I did the man reflex. Anyway, you need to feed, you need, you need to replace, you need to replace the things that kills your light like overthinking, hanging around with wrong people, habit, with things that actually expand your inner light. <laughs> like painting, singing, chatting shit. Sometimes it's good for the soul. Chatting shit is way overrated. People will be like, no, sometimes saying bullshit and be happy, it's good. Oh, I'm glad, Orny self-care oh and um i saw a video from um, bethany um uh, if you see the account spirit of squirrel about uh the the twin flame and leaving tick talk something like that and I was a bit confused about that but I get what you mean I get what you mean that I received as well confirmation that I have to be more present and present it means that you need to be comfortable in your own reality in in the now in the reality not in getting caught up in essentially what internet is is another layer of reality isn't it is another 
world, which can take you away from what is outside of this screen, outside of this endless scrolling. It's like you scroll and you jump into different people's reality, you jump into different people's energies, you and perhaps you get alienated from the here and the now. And sometimes when you do that a lot with internet in general, um Yeah. It becomes another form of escapism, essentially, right? Because we are looking for that fun and that vibe somewhere else, and not in the real, in the real now, in the real environment. But yeah. Um, hello, hello. <laughs> Anyway, I'm just quite happy today. Um, I've got so many projects in my mind and my mind is gonna explode. So yeah, I, I recommend you Canva as an app. C-A-N-W-A. -A. Um, to create a little bit of uh, inner child um, fun. I mean... The brochure said the, the icon that I holy pussy, like, but that is fucking art for real. Follow me on my Instagram if you want to see the final result of that. <laughs> Look at how, how proud I am of my holy pussy, creator of all. <laughs> you can find the link in my bio where there is the circle with my picture underneath the circle there is a link you press it and it will take you to all my shit my youtube my instagram and yeah this is the best like all my inner child is just so happy <laughs> you should do it too you really should do it too um Yeah, I will try to go live as well tonight to do a, more of a session, though. I will put music and we're just going to move energies. I won't talk a lot tonight. I think I've already been talking too much today. To now. <laughs> but the energy is... Uh, the, the energies are just really good. We, like... Uh, everything that is not serving us is getting purged out of us. We are anchoring in a more stable version of ourselves. We are trying to... the to remove everything that stand in between you and the happy version of you, essentially, so that we so that we can see what what is it that is stopping us from being playful, what is it that is stopping us from being bubbly, and whatever it is, out the door, out the door. I had two croissants today. <laughs> this is my inner child today, just mad. Let me get my tea one second. Because now this is actually a real question. If you want, and if you want to answer me, I would appreciate that. Ask yourself, what is it? Ornit already answered me, for example, she said her head, her head, it's, what is it in between you and your playfulness, playful version? Answer me. What is it, what stands sometime in between you and your playfulness? P. 
people amazing so that's great that's great so why aren't you not avoiding them you can avoid thought you can stop thinking if you want so once at a time once at a time chill 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 one sec one sec so people avoid these fucking people rule number one avoid people that stop you from shining avoid people that drains you avoid people that suck your energy avoid people that stop your vitality thought and people thought are the same thing you can learn how to move from your thought to your heart space because the solution is not in here is in here is in how you feel uh, the unknown well the unknown it's beautiful so it's the fear of the unknown then is your misinterpretation of the unknown because the unknown is actually the coolest thing alive <laughs> because it's in the unknown the cool shit happen not in the known in the known is what you already know in the unknown is the cool part and so is your fear of the unknown the unknown is actually your friend time time is an illusion so time is not linear and i express this multiple time when you do something that you like you rejuvenate so you regress in time when you do something that you don't like you age so actually time it's at your advantage it's not against you you choose how to spend it you can spend it to age or you can spend it to rejuvenate okay self boundaries now my question was what it is what is it sorry what is it that stop you from being playful self boundaries was that the oh, so you punishing yourself you are one of the masochist one what do you mean self boundaries my son he's so grumpy what i can <laughs> you cannot fly the of the door you can make your son being less less grumpy. I have begun purging people. Thank God! Don't don't begun. Just finish already. Purge them all out the door. Fuck them. My brain as I'm older and it feels wrong to be playful. Oh my god, this is another demon. This is another demon. It's the demon of thinking like playfulness your child version of you is your savior if you want to stop aging you need to go back to playfulness because i repeat again when you are playful you rejuvenate when you are serious you age you want to write this somewhere in your phone or on a note a stick it in your forehead when you playful you rejuvenate when you're serious you age that's why time is not fucking linear that's why time doesn't exist also getting back my energy from the past yeah recover if you need to sleep sleep if you need to recover amazing i'm pretty playful cool amazing keep your playfulness not so much wrong well, i believe i should act my age perfect you choose to act your age so you choose to be old simple never complain for something that you create yourself you believe listen to this you believe that you should act your age you are punishing yourself so you are convincing yourself that you need to be whatever age you are you believe it so you are doing it <laughs> if you change your belief you can go back in time you can rejuvenate you can change the belief that is a limiting belief we are eternal creature if you want to believe that you are old just because you have a number in front of you that is your belief so 
you cannot complain. You are doing that. You are doing that. You can change your beliefs and you can go back in time, but that is up to you. Are you scared of that? You might be scared to do that. Yes, the journey in the abyss is... Hiccup at Marini, I'm tormented with them. <laughs> in Italy we say, when you hiccup, your heart is growing. So it must be good. Well, I think I have to bet that will be for some other and be saved. Yeah. We need to convert the fear of the unknown to excitement for the unknown. Brava, Ornisht! Mwah. Exactly. Why are you afraid of the unknown when in the unknown there are the most exciting things? Same action, same result. Different action, different result, isn't it? And you see Sharon, even the way you speak, I know, but I am set in my ways. You already decided that you don't want to change, so why even wasting time? You're wasting your time. You already decide, so it's pointed for you to talk. You already are set in your ways, so you already decide that you will not change. <laughs> Oh, hello, beautiful. You were the one who commented about the divine. You have been stuck in your divine masculine energy, so flight or fight mode, right? I meant we are friends negatively. Yes. Yeah, I mean, you don't need nobody. Everyone is useful. Nobody is vital. Remember that. Everyone is useful. Nobody is fucking vital. So, people can be around you and bring shit to the table that is useful. If they don't bring anything to the table, they can all go and fuck off because nobody is vital. Is that clear? <laughs> Well, that's good because Sharon, you see, Sharon is one example of people that have struggled with change because we become addicted to, actually, okay, we become addicted to fear change. We become addicted to fear the opposite of something. So elastic people are people that can shift from one perspective to the other with no problem. So we shift. We can be serious, we can be playful, we can be above or below, in, out. We, we can be giving and taking. I can be an angel, I can be the devil. We love that. We learned that life is about this. We can be extremely give, giving, we can be extremely taking. We accept the pendulum. We accept the side of life. That's why we don't judge, because we don't judge ourselves. So people who are set in their ways, they will be lost in the world of the known. So they will just stick with what they know and you know, that is just painful for, for themselves and nobody else because you actually are an infinite being. You can swing from playfulness and serious. You can shift from enjoying and expanding or you can also shift in to retract and close. So, you know, is is all the opposition. So... Um, when somebody is stuck in their way, then nothing that doesn't go in that way. It's like having a horse with it, with with the eye thingy on. It's like this is what I see, so this is what I do. Well, guess what? There are people that cut those horses um, thingy, and uh, they're like, "Oh fuck, I can be all of that." <laughs> but that is up to you. Is the choice. Some of us are afraid to take them off. 
that is a fear. Um, yeah. It's like some of us are afraid to stop being people pleaser, for example, because they are afraid of their own evil side. And instead, your evil side is your best friend because your evil side is needed. When people take the peace, you have to fight back. You can't... People are afraid to stop being people-pleasing. Because they are afraid of, like, oh my god, I'm gonna hurt this person. Yes, bitch, you're gonna hurt this person. Yes, you have to. Yes, you do. <laughs> yeah, Louisa, but uh, this robot is you creating it. It's not real. There are moms out there that play music, that roll on the floor, that take their children and go in, in a garden and they roll on the mud with the children. You can be a fun mother. You can be a playful mother. You can be a very alternative mother. You can be a mother that sees beyond what we have been touched. You can be a mother that understands your own inner child, so you will understand way better your child. When you understand the needs that your inner child have, like I was talking to me, I need to spend some time in painting and designing shit, because my inner child loves to do this crap. And because I understand my inner child really well, I am amazing with children. Children love me. They go crazy. Why? Because I know how to be with my own inner child. I do all sorts of, like, this is what I spend hours doing with my inner child. And it's because I allowed my inner child to be playful and now my inner child to be crazy. I paint my face sometimes. I go around like a monster, but... I understand my inner child. And so when you understand your own inner child, you will understand more childs in general. And the limitation that you put in your head is like, oh, I do all the time the things in the same way. Well, change it. Simply change it. Just change it. <laughs> do things in a different way. Do things in the opposite way. Like you are the creator of your own reality. You understand? Oh, children go crazy with me. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And they come and they love my, they feel my heart energy. So, like, they they come and they want to touch me here all the time. Or they put their head here all the time. It's because they can feel the my heart space, my heart energy. There was this baby in the beach that he was, like, walking. And then he started touching my shoulder. And then he was like, <laughs> putting his head here <laughs> he was so sweet but it's because I it's because I truly nurse nurse um, I truly um, you know play with my inner child and so when you truly play with your inner child understand what your inner child actually need then all the rest of the world shifts. It's like people who says, you know, I've got this age, so I need to be in this way. Well, that is a lie because your inner child is still alive with you inside of you, no matter how old you are. <clears throat> oh, my phone is going to die. No. Wait, let me put it on charge. Yeah, because people think people think that you lo like the the amount of aspect that we hold inside of us is huge. You have an inner child. You have an inner mother. You have an inner warrior. You have you have an inner why an inner wise man you have an inner warrior you have an inner child you have an inner mother you have an inner wisdom 
you you are a multiple fuck a multi-dimensional being people do not understand what this means you think you are so limited like oh this is my name this is my surname and this is my age and this is my job well that is just one percent of who you are <laughs> so it's like cool you know your name your surname and your age and what you do as a job but that is still only one percent of what you are Oh, thank you. You are so much more. There is an inner warrior inside of you. There is an inner innovator inside of you. There is an inner revolutionary inside of you. There is an inner visionary inside of you. There is an inner child. There is uh, an inner wisdom. There is an inner, uh, an inner mother. Um, like, why... Why would you perceive yourself in such a limited perspective? Why would you do that to yourself? Like, are you enjoying to limiting yourself? Like, why would you see yourself in only one way? Why would you just restrict who you are when you are multidimensional? You understand? This will never stay like that, will it? Oh, God. Mm, one second, people, because this thing is getting my head. Oh. oh, cool. It stays like this. Hello, everyone. So... Why are you limiting yourself? And what are your limitations? <laughs> yeah, I will never marry you, just, just so you know. <laughs> like, just to be clear. Um, let me give you a little quick explanation of something quickly. Oh my God. Amazing girl, you see? Why would you want to fit in, for an example? This is another thing that bugged me and my life for a long time because it was like, oh, I want to fit in. And it's like, but why, why do we want to fit in? And the reason is because we are forced by society to fit in. Um, but, uh, but we don't need to, do we? <laughs> why would we fit in? Have you seen the majority of the people? The majority of people are fucking dumb. The majority of people are boring. The majority of people are conf... They're all the same. They all look like clones. And I'm not kidding. Look around, like, look in the TV. Look how they dress, how they put makeup. <laughs> they have, like... Huge lips, fake eyelashes, fake tan, fake hair. They dress all the same. They all speak ming, ming, ming. like is they're all fucking clone. Why would you be like them? It's like excuse me, excuse me. You boring as fuck, and you lack of authenticity big time. They are all the same. They dress the same. They speak the same. They look the same. They use the same product, like. Don't you see how sad that is? All with the botox in their face, botox in their bum, the way they speak. And I actually, it's like, oh, Jesus Christ. You don't need to fit in. You don't need to be like them. You don't need to conform. <laughs> why would you conform? Why would you become boring? And why you don't understand that, like, this is you, yeah? And you have... A chunk of inner child, a chunk of warrior, a chunk of wisdom, a chunk of visionary, a chunk of revolutionary, a chunk of wisdom. Um, like, you have the divine masculine, the divine feminine, and all of those things li live in different layer of reality. And it depends how many, if you are here, you are aware only of, of one chunk, for example. But the more you 
increase your awareness in all direction, in other layer of reality, you find other pieces of yourself. You find other pieces of how would you do things? How would you be different? What would you express different? Your authentic self is being camouflaged all this time, you see, because we fear being ourselves. We fear judgment. We fear, oh, what people are gonna think? Oh, nobody will like me. Oh, I'm not, I'm not a writer. Or, oh, no, I'm not. Like, you are everything, girl and boy. You are everything you want to. So, why would you be afraid? Sometimes it's just fear that blocks you from doing whatever the fuck you want to do. Or, the, you know, That's why we don't judge, because I see people, like, there was that woman that she drew, like, huge eyebrow. She, she, she basically drew, like, a square on top of her eyes, and she used to go grocery shop, and, and, you know, people would be like, oh my god, and it's like, dude, at least she's not like everyone else. No, but I sing. I don't play instrument, if not my instrument that I play is my voice. I sing. Yeah, like who cares what people think? Who cares if you, you know, if you, if I want to draw my eyebrow from here to here, it's my business, isn't it? Uh, if I want to go around naked, it's my business, isn't it? If I'm a spiritual teacher and I've got an OnlyFans, which I have, uh, it's my business, isn't it? And it's not because I have an OnlyFans, this means I'm not spiritual. On all this crap that they, it's just, put you in boxes like you must be like this like this like that it's all an illusion it's all illusion pure illusion let me sorry one sec Because there are people in my <laughs> in my Instagram that ask me, I never find you live. And I'm like, people, chat, you need to press the notification bell <laughs> and see when I'm live. Because I go live randomly. <laughs> so, yeah. Mm -mm. Dash dot, what did you say? Wait, I don't. I didn't. I lost that comment you, right? you wrote. I need my inner warrior next week if I go to prison on Friday. Oh, <laughs> wow, okay. Um. <laughs> I will pray for you not to go to prison, but uh, what did you do? <laughs> what happened to you? Well, I've been doing a lot of illegal shit in my life, so I am the last person that has to talk, but um, I was always lucky. Thank you for whoever share my live anyway, or if you suggest me to people. That you think that needs me. Um, Dash dot. You should really be careful how you drive, though. Oh, look at you, Australia! You here? <laughs> um, thank you, my love. Um, but in general, as well, if you have any issue that you do not understand about yourself or your spiritual path or whatever, don't hesitate to message me 
on my YouTube or in my Q&A question and I will try to make a video to help you in any way possible. On my Inside Timer, I've been uploading way a lot of more tracks for... They're just audios, but they're really helpful to understand things like triggers, to get over stuff like people pleasing or to get in contact with the dark side of you and whatever. It's, you know, there are things that need to be done in order to move forward. And yeah, you can find a lot of helpful things in my Insight Timer as well. Uh, it's not a motivation really, it's just I was, I came into this world to be at service and it took me a long time to realize that and once I realized that, uh, you know, it's just what I do is who I am, is literally be at service. I don't know how to do anything else. I mean, <laughs> I'm multi-talented. I, I have a lot of talents and I try to explore them all. So, you know, I used to have a shop. Um, I was a massage therapy, a Reiki healer. I used to sing. I used to do modeling. I used to be a dominatrix. I've done, oh, I've done like, for real, like, the stuff. I'm just 32 and it's like I've been living 30 lifetime at once. Uh, but then, no matter what I was doing, it was never making me feel totally satisfied so at some point I started to get pissed off I was like what the fuck I'm doing this I'm doing that I'm doing this I'm doing that and nothing really satisfied me and what really satisfied me is actually helping people and it's actually being a service so I guess I did all of that like and then spirit was like think no you are actually meant to be at service <laughs> so yeah, I still do Reiki session on my YouTube or face to face. I still do massage therapy. I still do a, I do a lot of things. Like I cannot be still. Um, I've got a lot of passion, a lot of things that I like. So it's quite difficult for me to stay still. But being a service is one of those things that really makes me feel like oh, all the knowledge I have is fucking useful. You know, so it makes me feel better. It's like, all right. Yeah, dash dot, you might have to <laughs> connect the right timeline, all right? You are not a pirate of the street, okay? <laughs> you are a nice person. <laughs> you don't want to <laughs> kill people in the street. And like my my coaching session and my one to one session are the things that really give me a proper satisfaction. It's like yeah, I helped, I helped, and I changed many people's lives for real. People that were just stuck in one way, and I managed to ugh, shake them and make them see different things, and that is. Um, that is something that really motivates me to do what I do. And yeah. <laughs> so what is um Oh you're welcome, beautiful. Make sure you check my YouTube channel and my um links with all my platform thank you Chris but you are biased <laughs> <Not joking. laughs> um, anyway I'm gonna leave you now to this beautiful day I might pop back around tonight for more of a Reiki session I'm still waiting for a microphone I sent my microphone to I sent my microphone to repair and it still hasn't gone back. 
Ugh. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, but you need to be careful when you drive people. We don't want to kill the random people for no reason, yeah? <laughs> anyway. We'll see you tonight. Mm -hmm. Enjoy your day. Thank you for the light and support and see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> ciao ciao bye